Hello and good evening. So today is the final day for this lower limb anatomy. And uh, say so this test would be pretty simple. All you need to do is just take a piece of paper, right? And you just write 1, 2, all the way up to 30, right? So this is like a normal pattern every time whenever we we'll, we are conducting the exam. So whatever the question which will come, you have to just write down the answer. Question 1, question 2, that way you have to keep on writing the answer. You will be given 1 minute, 1 minute per question, right? So that way within 30 minutes, we will be able to complete the entire test. After that, we will go back and we will solve each and every question individually right and this is a complete self-evaluation so it's like I trust all of you right and whatever your score is you can always send a mail to me you have got the email address that is still you are mbbs at gmail.com right and let me know your progress correct please please you don't have to type the answer into the chat box right because it happens it happened last time also I means i'm not blaming anyone but at times it happens that some students they start typing the answer into the chat box no you don't have to type anything in the chat box right that's very good and uh, i think we can we can start right though we have so less doesn't matter doesn't matter right because this is this will this session will get recorded so in case if someone has uh, not appeared the test at this point of time they can always appear again all right so all set right wish you all the best and we start right everyone ready okay so here we start with our first question. Here it is. Identify the structure and your time starts now. Identify the structure. You have to just write down name of this particular structure. In some of the cases, you might not even need one full minute. You'll be able to answer within say 15-20 seconds. In some questions, yes, you might have to think a bit or you have to write something more. So it would be a sort of mix and match. All right. Five more seconds for this question and we move on to the question number two. Question number two. It's like some muscle is telling that I am not part of short rotators of hip joint. Who is right? Gemellus superior, pectineus, quadratus femoris or obturator internus. Remember, it's like which muscle is not part of short rotators of hip joint out of these four muscles. All right, All right. Ten more seconds to go, and we move on to the third question. Here comes the question number three. Identify this structure. In other words, which muscle is this?
in case if someone has joined now no worries you can start the test from the third or fourth question no problem right in any case we'll be repeating the question number one to five so that any friend who has joined bit late they can also be accommodated okay moving on to question number four write down muscles of anterior compartment of leg that is all the four muscles pretty easy question isn't it you have to write down all four muscles of anterior compartment Ten more seconds to go and we now move on to question number five. Identify the muscular attachment of the structure which has been marked. Which muscle is attached? the point which is shown over here this is question number five all right ten more seconds and on to the question number six here it comes what is the nerve supply of adductor magnus but it has been very specifically asked anterior part only so what is the nerve supply of anterior part of adductor magnus actually yeah if you have studied well you will find it pretty easy okay on to the question number 7 something is shown over here multiple arrows this is attachment of which ligament or in other words which ligament is attached at all these points you have to just write down name of that ligament okay on to the question number 8 identify the structure marked what is name of the structure which has been marked be very specific in answering this question <clears throat> okay on to the question number 9 
this is a lateral view and one of the structure has been marked which structure is this identify the marked structure that's right because till now all the answers they are just one word answer and yes you have to write down the name of one ligament only i think you are asking for the previous question it is like true for means whenever it would be asked it's like write down all four muscles so it would be clearly mentioned otherwise it is a single word answer like in previous question question number eight it was one word answer in this case yes it is a one word answer all right excellent you must be doing very well and here is the question number 10 right posteriorly just above the knee popliteal vein is superficial to popliteal artery is it true or false take your time this is just true or false popliteal vein is superficial to popliteal artery is it or it is not so true or false All right, question number 11. Identify the artery. Identify this piece of artery. On to the question number 12. Which muscle is this? Identify this muscle. Yeah. If you, if you are finding questions easy, that means you have studied well. Alright, 10 more seconds and on to the question number 13. Identify this artery which artery is this the, the artery which has been marked All right, on to the question number 14. Identify this artery. What I have really tried is, I, I tried to put that in, in lower limb, say these are the bare minimum structures which you must know. If you know this much, that means you won't be having any trouble into your viva or or into any of those questions but in case if someone is committing mistake in 
in these easy questions so then it is like he or she has to seriously read the whole thing again all right on to the halfway now this is coming up question number 15 true or false adductor brevis inserts just before the beginning of adductor hiatus true or false true or false adductor brevis inserts just before the beginning of adductor hiatus So our 50% of test is complete. Moving on to the question number 16. Okay. Identify this structure and you have to describe or you have to write this structure very specifically. Right. Watch this structure carefully and answer it very properly that what exactly it is. So here you might have to write, it's not like one word, you might have to write four or five words. Watch carefully. Okay. On to the question number 17. Mention all the three structures that are passing through the fibrous arch of soleus. I don't know how many times they have asked this question in, in Viva. Very common question. So mention the structures which are passing through the fibrous arch of soleus. Well, I can't say whether it is knee or thigh. You have to, every clue is given in that. When any of the image is given, everything is given in that. So there should not be any doubt about that particular structure. Okay, so this is question number 17. On to the question number 18 in just 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and here it is the question number 18. I know you know, you, you know this muscle very well. So you identify the muscle head. Which muscle is this? On to the question number 19. Very easy. Identify the nerve. Let's move on to the question number 20. I know we are going bit fast, but I think you know the answers. So that's why I'm going bit fast. I'm giving you about 40, 45 seconds. Okay. Question number 20. Pretty easy. 
विच आर द टू मेजर मसल्स विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इनवर्जन मसल्स विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इनवर्जन and if this question is asked in viva and you answer it correctly so then the next question would come that okay what are the muscles which are responsible for eversion so though we have not asked over here but if you wish you can always write the muscles which are responsible for eversion because it is like self evaluation self test okay question number 21 on this bone something is marked what exactly it is identify question 22 true or false gracilis muscle is not part of abductor group of hip joint is it true or false gracilis muscle is not part of abductor group of hip joint all right question number 23 identify this muscle identify the muscle whether it is abductor or adductor it was mentioned into the question no worries in any case we'll be going for one quick round of all the questions all right question number 24 identify the structure okay question number 25 fracture of neck of femur right fracture of neck of femur that will lead to damage to some artery which can lead to avascular necrosis of head of femur which artery are we talking about which artery are we talking about you have to write down name of that artery on to the question number 26 
identify the bone. Identify the bone. Okay, just four more questions to go. Identify this muscle. I'll just zoom it so that you don't commit any error. Identify this marked structure. What is the name of that muscle? You don't have to write anything in chat box. No answers to be written in chat box. Please. Question number 28. Now supply of sartorius. Is a nerve supply of sartorius muscle. All right, question number twenty nine. Right, structure passing in real life. Because if I don't write real life, then you can write pencil, right? No, but what is the structure which will be passing through in real life at this position? Which structure is that? And the last question coming up is here. Identify the artery. Identify the marked artery. What is the exact name of the artery which has been marked? Don't write anything in the chat box, please. You don't have to write anything in the chat box regarding these answers. Okay, now what we'll do is, we'll go all the way to question 1 to 30. Just in 5 seconds, we'll roll on to the next question. So it would be a sort of, in case, if you have missed any of the question, you can just write the answer right so here we start it would be good for anyone who has joined a bit late okay so this was the first question identify the structure you are supposed to identify this particular structure right quite easy on to that i am not part of short rotators of hip joint which muscle is telling this Gamelus superior, pectineus, quadratus femoris, or obturator internus. On to the next. Third one. Which muscle is this? Must know. Right? Must know. Because this is conceptual. Right? On to the question number four. Ride on muscles of anterior compartment of leg. Yes, this is something which no one can miss, right? They should know, everyone should know what are the muscles of anterior compartment, posterior compartment, in posterior, all those, right? Don't write the, are it, why are you writing the answers? You don't have to write the answer. This is just a quick, uh, we'll be going with the answers. So, so, don't write any of the answer over here. 
identify the muscular attachment right on to the question number six nerve supply of adductor magnus the anterior part right Question number seven was attachment of which ligament? Yes, you have to write down name of just one ligament. Why this? Why you are not understanding? Because in that case, I have to really, really stop you from doing this. Don't do this. If you are knowing the answer, that doesn't mean that you start typing in spite of telling so many times. You make one more mistake and I'll, I'll remove you. This should not happen again. Identify the structure, right? That was question number eight. This is where you have to identify which structure. And just for the benefit, it has been said that it is a lateral view right so that's the lateral view you have to identify the structure that was the tenth question posteriorly just above the knee popliteal vein is superficial to popliteal artery true or false right so it is superficial to popliteal artery true or false that's what you have to do for it then identify this artery i hope you must have Return the correct answer. Right. Question number 12. You have to identify this muscle. Right. Quite easy. Right. Lots of hints. They are there. So you should not be missing it. Then identify this artery. Right. That was question number 13. On to the question number 14 was this. Another identification. Right. Very, very important structures which you must know. That was the whole idea behind this test. True or false, adductor brevis inserts just before the beginning of adductor magnus. Well, you have to just say true or false. That was midway on to this. Identify which structure is this. Right, Very classical structure, very typical and very important. Right. Mention the structures which are passing through the fibrous arch of soleus, right? Fibrous arch of soleus. Three major structures are passing. You have to name all three of them. Question number 18 was just identify that muscle is okay. Which head, right? Which muscle and which head? Then identification of this particular nerve. That is pretty easy. Name two major muscles responsible for inversion. Again, quite easy. Right. Identify this. This is the classic. Right. You just can't miss it because we have talked so many times about it. This is true or false. Gracilis muscle is not part of abductor group of hip joint. Right. You have to just say whether it is right or wrong. Question number 23. Identify this very important muscle. Right. Finally, this is like identify one more structure. Right. Again, a very classical look. Right. Can't miss it. Fracture of neck of femur. You must remember that artery because classically, it if it is damaged, it may lead to avascular necrosis. That is avian of head of femur. Which bone is this? Yes, this has been discussed so many times and you should be able to identify almost all the bones. So this question is not very difficult. Identify the muscle. Should not be a confusion, though there are so many. But if you have studied that figure properly, it would be much, much easier. Now supply of sartorius, obviously it is very easy. 29th question was, what is that structure which is passing through in real life and finally what exactly is the name of this particular artery right so let's start with now solving all of the question one after the another plus with some more details so here is 
question number one identify the structure right yes no doubt about it it is peroneus longus right peroneus longus and we every time said that it winds around the cuboid bone so this is the cuboid bone right so it winds around cuboid bone cuboid bone right so that was like an important thing for this particular bone okay i am not part of short rotators of hip joint right see that's right it is the pectineus because pectineus is part of adductor right adductors group so he is part of adductors group right rest of the other muscles which are part of say short rotators like obturator externus right obturator externus then uh, pyriformis right pyriformis and over here gamelus superior already mentioned so that would be like gamelus inferior right so they will be short rotators excellent on to the next one yes this is this is the you must have answered definitely correctly right identification of this that is tensor fascia latte right tensor fascia latte the importance of this is that over here this is the gluteus maximus so gluteus maximus and tensor fascia latte they actually get inserted into this what is called as the iliotibial tract right so that is the iliotibial tract and that's how they get the more surface area for the attachment on to the next one well this is the pretty straightforward right the tibialis anterior then we have got extensor heliosis longus extensor digitorum longus and finally the peroneus tertius right these were the four muscles for anterior compartment all right this is like the muscle if you remember i said okay forget about this muscle but you always remembered it so that's why i put it over there and this is pectineus right so that's the answer the pectineus meantime say over here right we just go for that that was the area where it was the adductor magnus which was attached correct this is where the gracilis is attached right and over here that is you remember pyriformis right it was the pyriformis pyriformis this so you can never miss right iliacus iliacus right and over here that is sartorius right anterior superior iliac spine so that is sartorius and these are two pretty easy right these are all vastae so vastus lateralis vastus intermedius and vastus medialis right these are the few other other muscles yeah now supply of adductor magnus right i hope you must have answered it correctly right that is obturator now right and what about the posterior part the posterior part is by by sciatic now correct that is by sciatic now okay the question number seven right this is like one of the very powerful ligament and that ligament is deltoid right it is the deltoid ligament deltoid ligament yeah this was question number eight and see here it is ischium right on which one sits this is ramus of ischium so it is the ischial ramus ischium Right. So this structure which has been identified is 
inferior ramus of pubis correct because this innominate bone it is also called as the innominate right who who has got no name right or the hip bone it is made up of ilium ischium and pubis so here it is this is pubis so this the structure this is inferior ramus so answer would be inferior ramus of pubis correct this would be the superior ramus that's right so that is inferior ramus of pubis here it is right this is the pretty easy we are dealing with the knee joint so laterally it would be the fibular collateral ligament correct fibular collateral ligament on the opposite side if you will see that the tibial collateral ligament it would be going into the capsule it would be the part of knee joint it is the fibular collateral ligament which is not taking part in the knee joint so it remains outside right so that's the right so it is that's the important thing to remember in this particular case okay on to the next one posteriorly just above the knee popliteal vein is superficial to popliteal artery well yes the deepest and the superficial in this we remembered it like sciatic is superficial you remember that we said that sciatic is superficial so sciatic nerve is the most superficial structure and then over here the deepest structure was popliteal artery right so obviously popliteal vein is in between right so what here we are popliteal vein is superficial to popliteal artery yes it is superficial to popliteal artery so this is true right that's right very good over here right this is common iliac artery and that's the point of division so this will be like external iliac artery and same artery would be named as femoral artery when as soon as it crosses the inguinal ligament right very good yeah identify this structure right no doubt about it right this is heel right so it is very easy to figure out such an important structure and over here say i just for the hint i haven't removed this thing right so in, in during our discussion we said that this is like very strange flexor hallucis longus right flexor hallucis longus it emerges from the opposite side while it should be over here on the medial side but that's where flexor hallucis longus and digital longus would be crossing right extensor hallucis longus it is be it is flexor hallucis longus correct flexor this is posterior this is posterior okay yeah this is pretty easy right huh. so over here say this is flexor hallucis longus and just underneath it right so this which is this artery that artery would be peroneal artery right this would be the peroneal artery because from top right over here just on the top what you are watching over there right it would be the anterior tbl right anterior tbl above and then this comes down and then it divides into posterior tbl and the posterior tbl and the peroneal artery right so that's how the whole thing goes that's perfect good Yeah, it is this is so you just can't miss it the artery which has been marked is 
dorsalis pedis right dorsalis pedis okay and by the way this branch that is a tarsal branch correct so that's a tarsal branch muscles you know now so well here it is right adductor brevis inserts just before the beginning of adductor hiatus well this is false it is not the adductor brevis but it is the adductor longus because brevis is short right brevis so it it is above then comes the longus and on the base is the adductor adductor magnus right so over here the answer is false the next yeah the next one this one yeah what have you written answer for this i'm interested in that what have you written that's right good 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 so what structure is this what structure is this See if you watch carefully, this is beginning, this is the adductor canal, it is the facial roof, it is the facial roof of adductor canal, right, that's why it was very specifically mentioned that this is how, this, this is the fascia, right, it is this fascia which will form the roof and then see how the vessels right they are going into the adductor tunnel right adductor canal yeah this was the next one that mentioned the structures which are passing through the fibrous arch of soleus should not be difficult right it is like popliteal artery, popliteal vein plus tibial nerve, right, tibial nerve. So these are the structures which are passing through the fibrous arch of soleus. Pretty easy. This is like transverse head, right, there are two heads, transverse head and oblique head so this is transverse head of adductor helices correct so adductor helices transverse head this one is the oblique head okay this is pretty easy right common peroneal no right common peroneal again pretty easy right two major muscles which are responsible for inversion so one is going in front of medial malleolus second is going just behind so when they pull the foot is say lifted in such a way that sole is facing inside that is tibialis anterior and tibialis posterior. Right? The straightaway tells us because we can watch the sciatic now so clearly that means we are dealing with the posterior side. Right? Posterior side. And when we are dealing with the posterior side between greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter, it is inter trochanteric trochanteric crest, right? Because it is posterior, so it is crest. Had it been anterior, so we would have called it intertrochanteric line, right? But because it is posterior, so it is crest. gracilis muscle is 
not part of abductor group of hip joint true or false well that is that is actually true right gracilis is not part of abductors because gracilis himself is is an adductor right he is an adductor correct so that's why this is true nice identify this muscle right you just can't miss it that small muscle which is going for all the digits and he is flexor digitorum brevis right the next one this is also you just can't miss it this is the posterior cruciate ligament correct posterior cruciate ligament question number 25 was yes this is this is how many of you have answered this thing correctly just for this question right now the answer of question number 25 let's see what would what would be the name of that artery if damaged may lead to avascular necrosis of head of femur excellent medial circumflex femoral artery excellent it is medial circumflex femoral artery right very nice very nice so if you remember it was like internal iliac artery right it that common iliac it divides into external and internal and then that internal iliac artery is having that anterior branch and the posterior branch right and then in anterior there is obturator artery correct and in that obturator artery there is one x again that anterior branch right and in that anterior branch there is medial circumflex and lateral circumflex so that's that's the medial circumflex femoral artery right and in meantime say if we talk about this posterior right branch so that will go for that among the other arteries one of them would be the superior gluteal artery right but this is right this is good very good answer medial circumflex femoral artery excellent excellent right this so you just can't miss it a boat shaped bone and that is none other than navicular right. nice one here it is right identify the muscle so the muscle which is which we have marked is is inferior gamelus inferior right gamelus inferior so above this this would be gamelus superior true then this one is that pyriformis right and and over here it is like gluteus minimus and the medius right so this thin strip which we are watching is gluteus minimus and this one is gluteus medius true right and in between this one is obturator internus and this one because of its shape right so that is quadratus femoris and under the quadratus femoris there is obturator externus right so these are the muscles which we which we see answer is for this particular one is the gamelus inferior that inferior gamelus or gamelus inferior anything is fine okay now supply of sartorius now right this was the sitter right femur
on to the next one yes this is also pretty easy right the structure which is passing through classically the deep peroneal now right very simple that's right that's right and finally the last one the last one so this is this one is the lateral plantar artery correct lateral plantar artery and this the artery in question is the calcaneal branch right it is the calcaneal branch of lateral plantar artery done that's right the lateral plantar artery calcaneal branch if you have written calcaneal branch then that is the perfect answer it is the perfect answer okay so as i said that this is like self evaluation right do let me know your scores right you may send me a mail also right and okay so you have already started say giving giving your scores okay vivek 25 Athar with 30 out of 30, that is very good, really good. Yes, veins, it's the same as of arteries, that's right. Veins, they are same as of arteries, except the short saphenous and the long saphenous vein. Otherwise, all arteries and the veins, they are same name. And, and finally, those common iliacs they will meet to form the inferior vena cava right so otherwise in the lower limb everything remains same all right thank you 22 all right gauri 29 okay 23 isha 30 very nice my 23 Preeti 27, okay, 21, Athar, that's because you are so humble. Preeti, don't, you don't have to worry about it, it happens sometimes, right? It is like in case in case if you have got say 25 or 26 or 24 not to worry because trust me the questions which you have answered incorrect you will never forget those questions for rest of the life you'll always remember it you'll always remember it so it's like it was it was actually a pleasure talking to all of you and uh, see if next week we shall start with abdomen actually abdomen would be like a marathon session because it is not only the abdomen but abdo pelvis abdomen and pelvis and and actually when you are studying anatomy you will feel the heat of anatomy when you study abdomen pelvis and when you study head and neck, these two structures, these two regions, right, you will really relish. You will find that there is, there is so much. There is so much. Same thing. It will happen in abdomen. And, and after abdomen, when you will study head and neck, suddenly you will find that the size of the structure, it, become, it has become so small. But in abdomen, right, big structures, but so much, so much to know about them, right? You, you guys are really very good. Okay. So, we'll start from Tuesday. Right. We'll start from Tuesday. Okay. I'll prepare all the links. And in our shared folder, I'll be making a new folder now. Right. That is with the name of abdomen. Abdomen notes. So same style, all the PDFs, as soon as we'll save this, they will automatically be stored over there, right? 
Thank you so much. Uh, see, why we are not picking up the thorax? Why we are not picking up the thorax is, so if you'll see, we have completed the heart in detail, right? It is already along with the physiology, right? It is already been done. Now, and, and in thorax, it's like lungs are there, right? And then there are few other structures. So actually speaking, that even even if you if you study it now, it it is not that difficult. And in case if if you feel like right, once we complete this difficult portion of abdomen, within one week, right, within one week we can finish off the thorax part, whatever is left out, right. Heart is vital in that. Otherwise, rest of the structures they are pretty easy. But yes, we can take it after the abdomen, right. Because abdomen is worth knowing and, and, and still more important is the pelvis, right, pelvis. And, and they are actually important from various aspects. So we'll, we'll be covering each and every topic from the abdopelvis, right. All right, uh, arteries, nerves and veins, they're still confusing to you. Don't worry, just, yeah, clinical session will, will, will be taking, will be taking. Yeah, just give me some time, right? I, as I told you, not only the clinical part, right? Not only the clinical. I really want that you should be good in even the sectional anatomy, right? Sectional anatomy. Now, what really happens is that straight away, if I start showing you that, okay, this is the structure, right? This is, these are the sections. I can finish within, say, 15, 20 minutes. But actually, it is of no use, Right? Till, so, the, till I, I give you a pattern how to recognize every structure. Now, when we try to do that, so I have to incorporate several other sections, some some other, say, I mean, images where you see it from a different perspective. So, that's that's what sometimes takes more time. Same thing is going to happen in abdopelvis, right? So, so don't worry, right? We'll, we'll not be skipping anything and surely we'll be taking this part for lower limb right in abdo pelvis the parallelly will keep on taking the sectional anatomy and the clinical part clinical part so it is actually integrated into that right ha huh, sure sure uh, we won't miss it we won't be missing it so thank you so much once again and we meet very soon wish you all the best and have a nice weekend Thank you and bye-bye. And yes, I, I'll be saving this file and I'll put it into our folder. Right, it has been saved. Putting it over there in few minutes. Bye-bye.